I know you put a lot of effort into preparing for these exams, and I want to maximize the amount of learning that you get from that effort. Therefore, each exam will have two components, an individual component worth 75% and a collaborative portion worth 25%. The individual portion will have 10-ish computer graded questions and two long answer problems where you'll write out your answer on like a piece of paper, take a picture, and then upload it to Moodle. Again, there will be a practice exam where you can see the layout and there will even be a practice technical exam where you can practice taking pictures and uploading. The exam should be doable in about one hour with about four minutes per computer graded question. The MCAT actually only gives you two minutes per question. So I think my questions are harder. Moreover, I'm a strong believer in equitable course design and think that for this course, knowing the material is more important than knowing it fast. Again, you're not physics majors. This is the last physics course almost all of you will ever take. I just want you to know it, not know it fast. And therefore, all students will get double time, two hours to complete the exam. And this two hours is including time to take a picture of your work and upload it. Given that the exam is open book and open note, I think that this should be plenty of time to help you complete the exam. Each exam day, there will be multiple time slots over the course of the day, and each slot will be capped at 100 students each. Again, the exams are on Moodle, and I've discovered in past experience that more than 100 people taking a Moodle exam at the time at the same time can cause problems. So each slot will be capped at about 100. First come, first served, and you're going to have to take it during the time for which you signed up. Again, if we go more than 100, we start running into Moodle problems. For each exam time slot, there will be a Zoom link, which you will be expected to sign on to. This Zoom link is an opportunity for you to ask questions and for me to maybe provide some last minute instructions on the exam. I'm not gonna ask you to turn on your camera or anything like that. It, it's, you know, like I said, I'm gonna trust you guys and afford you that respect and I expect the same level of respect in return but I feel that it's important to have an opportunity where you can get your questions answered. Individual exam one and individual exam two will be on Tuesdays or Thursdays. The collaborative portion will then open the next morning at our usual time at the beginning of class and class time will be designated time to work on it. I do this because presumably the vast majority of you have at least blocked off that time slot in your schedule and can therefore meet with your peers to work on the exam. However, I recognize not everyone can maybe make that slot. And so the due date will be the beginning of class after that. So for example, if the exam is a Tuesday, the collaborative portion will open Wednesday at the start of class and be due at the start of class on Friday. Exam three during the finals period will of course be handled a little bit differently once we get a, you know, uh, exam date from the university will set up the schedule and that'll be announced later in the semester. As described in the section on teams above, if you elect to be in an organized team, you know, one of the teams that I put together, you'll have one copy of the collaborative portion that you'll, you'll do together and turn in together and receive a single grade. If you're working alone, on the other hand, you will still do the assignment and you're still permitted to work with others, you're just expected to figure out who to work with and organize it yourself. But you must turn in an individual copy of the collaborative exam for which you will get an individual grade. Fortunately, you don't have to worry too much about all this because all the issues regarding who's in teams and who's not and all that sort of stuff will be handled in an automatic way so that you don't have to worry about it too much. This concludes this video and there's a few follow-up questions about this to make sure you understood what was going on.